During an emergency, it's easy to become disoriented, and it's not always easy to get yourself the help you need. That's why it's so important to know where to turn and to find help when you can count on it. Jay Major is with MedStar Paramedic Ambulance. His team of emergency responders is at the ready when you and your family need them most. Jay, always good to have you. Hey, thank you very much. Great to be here. Yeah, let's establish what and who MedStar is. Well, MedStar is a family-owned company. Uh, my father started the emergency med medical services on the Sioux Falls Fire Department back in the early 70s, along with Jeff Kronk. And from there, we, uh, the, the passion just grew in my blood, and, and it went from those days to what we have today, uh, which is a, a life-saving organization. Yeah, so let's talk about where you're based out of Brandon, but what's your service area? You know, our service area, we, we, uh, Brandon, Valley Springs, and on all those little towns around there, but Area 5, you can see on the, on the screen right there, Area 5 is the area that we cover for 911 services in the county. And uh, when you talk about services, let's talk about some of the emergency services that you offer. Sure. Now, uh, you know, when we send an ambulance out, we obviously send an ambulance with a paramedic and an EMT or two paramedics. Um, and it's advanced life support. So these days, advanced life support, different from days past, remember the days of emergency, mm -hmm. that program yeah, on right, TV? Right, right. Well, that has expanded into just little emergency rooms in ambulances. So when we, it's not so much how fast you get them to the hospital, it's kind of how fast you can get to the scene to help them. And that's, that's one of our goals. Because you're, you're able to add more services than, you know, I mean, you're equipped to do a lot of things now. Absolutely, yeah. The ambulances are equipped to do a lot of things, life-saving in an emergency situation. So a lot of times it's how quick you can get to the scene versus getting to the hospital. Yeah, I and mean, what do you think, if, if I ask you, so what sets, sets you guys apart from maybe other services? What do you guys do? You know, the first thing is, is we are, again, we're a family-owned business, and it's, it's in our hearts, it's in our bloods. We're not, a, we're not an investment group or anything like that. So this is something that we have worked for hard. There's been good times and bad times, obviously, with any family-owned business, because you don't have that, that backup support as an investment group would have. So, but um, having said that, the people that work for us understand this. They understand it's a family-owned business, and, and it's that love and dedication that we look for with the people that work for us. Um, it's a tough job, but uh, it's not for everyone. Yeah, so one of the things you guys do, you're more than just an ambulance service. You do transporting and, and helping get people to, that might have other medical needs that you can get them to where they need to go. Talk about that. Yeah, we absolutely do. We got great relationships with the local hospitals and the ones out of town. So uh, we have a transfer service with our ambulance service, as you can see there, one leaving the garage. We uh, will pick up somebody from a hospital and deliver them to another hospital. And you, we can do that with advanced life support services, um, ventilators, IVs, medications, and they go from point A to point B. Um, and that's our transfer side of the operation, which helps us pay for the 911 side. Mm -hmm. 911 side is sure. obviously a money maker. And so that helps us with that. And we also have a, another business, it's a, it's a, a transit service. So what that service is, it's, it's not medically necessary to take somebody point A to point B, but we can absolutely uh, pick somebody up from a hospital on a cot or in a wheelchair, put them in the back of a vehicle, and if they're on oxygen, we can continue that in the transit units and then take you to point A to point B. Now, that, that's quite a bit less expensive than an ambulance, obviously, yeah. but it also does the job of getting somebody that can't get there themselves. So we open that part of our service also. Yeah, because that's the thing is people are trying to stay in their homes and live in their homes longer as they possibly can, but yet they don't have the mobility that they might need. So can they call your company and say, hey, can you help me get to a doctor appointment or can you get me to here? Is oh, absolutely. And, and you know, we do as much of that as we possibly can. Again, you know, our hearts are into this along with our mind and body. And so my wife is a registered nurse, and she works at one of the local hospitals. And, and you know, to be a nurse or to be a paramedic and to really enjoy what you do um, means you put your whole heart and soul into it. And uh, we both do that. And you're right. We want to get people where they need to go. Um, and... We're, that's one way we can do it is by these services that we're offering. Yeah, and one of your history, historically, you've always uh, been the service out at Hussets at the racetrack, but let's talk about event needs because there might be events, there's so many events going on in our communities today that, that you might need medical assistance. So sometimes are you asked to be on site? Are you there? I mean, talk about the event piece of your business. Well, absolutely. So MedStar has our, our nationally known race rescue team, and we go around and teach and we provide services. This weekend, we have five events. We're going to be from Missouri to Oklahoma with that team, also providing local shows at Wagner and, and the other areas around here. But along with that, we stand by football games, baseball games. We'll, uh, we'll go to the little leagues and just sit there. 
um, because we are part of our community, part of Brandon, yeah. um, and part of the outlying community. So we'll sit there and, and sit at those events, football games, concerts. Right. So there's a, a, but the things we love to do is stand by at the Home Depots and the, and the Menards and things and let kids come over and view our ambulances and view our race rescue equipment when we have time to, to get that done for them because it, it gets kids at an early age to understand what these ambulances are all about and what the, what the uh, paramedics and EMTs are all about along with the safety of the race rescue and so forth, the safety of driving a four-wheeler. And so all those things, we really uh, enjoy being part of the community and making that stuff happen. We've got about a minute left, and I want to talk about the people side of your business. So talk about the training that you provide your people, and, and if somebody wanted to get into your, into your business, what would they want or need to do? Well, first off, um, we are updating everything that we've been doing with MedStar. So uh, we're putting a campaign out there uh, for retention of good people. We're starting paramedics between $17 and $20 an hour, depending on experience. EMTs are $12 to $15 an hour depending on experience, and transit drivers, you know, that 11 to 13 to 14 dollars an hour, depending on experience. So we're doing that. We also provide 80-20 health care insurance for the single uh, person that works for us. Uh, and we also provide health insurance for the family if needed. We have the 401ks at matching funds and, and the AFLACs and all those kinds of things. So, you know, we're, what we're doing is being part of the communities. We, wanna, we want that retention to keep these good people that want to stay here. We want to give them a reason to stay. And, uh, you know, the counties and the cities, Brandon and the whole county, you know, it, this has been a working in progress. I'll add one more thing is that uh, we have uh, been working with the county on new ambulance ordinances and regulations. And all of our ambulance services together, holistically, have come up with ordinances and things that really enhance our 911 system from MedStar to Humboldt to Gerritsen to Del Rapids uh, into Sioux Falls. So, you know, this whole team effort that we're providing in this area is unlike any other area. Yeah, that's good news. That's good to hear those things. So, Jay, thanks you for bet. all that. Good information. If you would like to learn more about MedStar Paramedic Ambulance, you can call one of the numbers listed here or visit the website on your screen.